I find it easier to use an iPad Pro versus an iPhone when working with video editing. Your iPad should be no older than a 2018 model, as that's when Apple added the USB-C connection ports for faster data transfer. This USB-C cable comes with the SSD drive and connects to the iPad. It's important that you use an SSD type drive, which are faster than the normal external USB drives, such as this Samsung T5 or T7 or SanDisk. Simply connect the SSD drive to the iPad. Now let's make sure that the iPad sees the drive by going to the Files app. Here we see that the iPad itself sees the Samsung T5 drive. Next open LumaFusion. In the top left let's click on the library source icon. You can see that we can choose a number of options choose files. Now click on the add link to folder. You can see here for example that you could have access to your iCloud. We also see that the T5 SSD drive shows up and at the top it says access will be granted to the SSD. We can choose a specific folder on the drive if we want to. Here we choose camera essentials folder. Again at the top we see access to this folder is granted. So let's click done at the top right. Now just click on the folder we selected and we'll see all the video clips in that folder show up. And we can simply drag any of these files that we want down into our project window. You can also use an external drive and edit using an iPhone. However, due to the fact that the iPhone uses a lightning connector, you'll need to get an adapter to make this happen. You'll need this USB adapter from Apple. It has a lightning port which connects to the phone. It has a USB type A port as well as another lightning port. We'll use this extra lightning port for external power. We'll use the same wall connector that you use when you charge your phone up. The Samsung SSD also comes with a USB Type-C to a USB Type-A cable. Here we can see the USB-C end and the other end is a USB Type-A. Simply connect the USB Type-C to the SSD drive. Connect the other end of the cable, the USB-A side, into the adapter. And next we'll supply power to the adapter by plugging in the lightning cable from a wall outlet that you would normally use to charge your iPhone with. And then finally, connect the adapter to the iPhone. Now that we've connected our external drive to the iPhone, let's go into the Files app and check that the phone sees the external drive. Here we can see that the iPhone sees the T5 external SSD drive. So let's open LumaFusion. Let's click on the library sources icon. Click files. Then click add link to folder. Now we can see that you could locate media from your iCloud or stored on your iPhone. Here we see our T5 external drive. We can choose our folder. Let's click on the folder we want.
and then click done at the top right. Now we have access to all the files in that folder. Again we have access to an external drive to edit on our phone and we don't have to take all this media that would be filling up our internal storage on our phone. It's a little bit more messy with the adapter but still it allows us to edit on our phone using an external drive and stops us from filling up our internal storage. Finally, here is something that I use, which is a multimedia adapter for the iPad. We're not affiliated with this company at all, and you can find different types all over Amazon. This adapter is a USB-C connector, which plugs into the iPad. It has another adapter if you're using an external case. On the other side, it has a bunch of connections. It has an audio jack, a USB Type-A port. It's got SD and micro SD card slots so that you can use your camera to import files into. It has a USB-C port to connect your external SSC drive, for example, or to power your iPad. Also on the end, there's an HDMI port, which allows you to um, take your iPad and then attach an external monitor, for example. You simply connect it like this if your iPad has no external case on it. If it does have another case, it has an attachment in the box for this. Now I can just attach my SSD drive with the USB-C to USB-C port. It just keeps things neater. I could, for example, take my SD card from my camera and connect it through here to import files as needed. However, a good rule of thumb is to organize and keep all of your media on the external SSD. That way you don't need to import them into your iPad and fill up the internal storage. LumaFusion simply links to the files where they live on the SSD drive. And I think that's a better way to go and also to manage your media files.